post-war era, the city of Sault Ste. Marie and the Chamber of Commerce turned their efforts toward tourism and increasing access to the Sioux. Between 1960 and 1964, a new stretch of the National Highway, the International Bridge, and the Sault Ste. Marie Airport were opened. The city was growing, and Sioux Mill was growing right along with it. In the years following the retirement of Fremlin Hollingsworth, his three sons each found their own place within the company. Simpson was the first of the sons to be president of Sioux Mill and took over command of the retail side. Lynn, who eventually became president after Simpson, led the properties and building divisions. Ian, who was also president in his turn, had oversight of the mills, including the Michigan Maple Block Company. Part of the expansion that the company was undergoing in the subsequent years included setting up shop in other towns. By 1964, Sioux Mill owned what had formerly been known as Wawa Building Supplies. They eventually bought out another existing hardware store, owned by the Ward Brothers, in 1970. The store remained a vital source of building supplies in the city until a devastating fire in the early 1990s. Declining economic prospects in the region led to the decision not to rebuild. A potential second boom in the uranium mines made Elliott Lake an encouraging place to start yet another regional store. On September 5, 1974, the Sioux Mill store in Elliott Lake opened and began providing home building supplies for the miners and the growing city. The store has remained in Elliott Lake ever since with only a brief closure due to a fire in June of 1981. Back in the Sioux, the acquisition in the early 1950s of Downey Building Materials Limited, which provided ready-mix concrete and concrete blocks, meant that Sioux Mill was able to provide everything for a house, from the foundation to the roof. They also sold appliances such as stoves and washing machines. The mills on North Street made prefabricated wall sections and trusses until 1979, when the truss fabrication was moved to their current location on Sackville Road. This prefabrication mill made sections for residential as well as commercial structures all over Ontario and even into the United States. All of these sections were made entirely by hand during this period. To the south of the property on the corner of Second Line and Sackville, Sioux Mill opened a second retail location in the early 1970s. This location was maintained until 1985. Despite the recession that most of North America was experiencing in the 1980s, Sioux Mill bought the retail location of Dubray Lumber Company Limited on Great Northern Road. Renovations were made to the store and yard over the winter, and on March 4, 1986, Sioux Mill opened its newest location, complete with a full-service lumber yard. The staff from the Second Line location was moved to Great Northern Road and amalgamated with those staff from Dubray that stayed with the business. While Sioux Mill grew geographically throughout the region, it also grew internally as it came to include installation and sales departments. Home building grew during the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Sioux Mill homes were built all over town, including Fort Creek, Allworth, Broadview Gardens, the State Streets, and many, many more. The end of this period also saw the retirement of the three brothers. This era of growth in the history of Sioux Mill made way for the next generation of Hollingsworths. <music> Oh, 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 oh,